Welcome back, I'm Sherlock Holmes. In this video, we're taking a look at the WizMech Active Starter Kit. I do reviews, build tutorials, vlogs, and how-tos, so if you're new, consider subscribing. Press the bell if you want to be notified when I post new content. Let's jump into this review. When I first heard about this thing, I have to be honest, I was not excited at all. But the more I looked into it, the more I was a little intrigued. And now that I've used it for a while, I can full-heartedly say I'm a fan. So yes, it has a speaker in it, and we're gonna get to that, and this thing is pretty cool. It's really, <laughs> the name Active is, is very applicable here. Starting off with what comes in the box, you get the mod, the tank, this is the Amor tank, the Active mod, and you get your charging cable. It comes with two coils, so you're gonna be able to run this thing either mouth to lung with the 1.3 ohm coil head, or, direct long with the 0.2 ohm coil head. You also get a little hook, your spare parts, and a charging cable, and all the corresponding paperwork. So, everything you need out of the box. Looking at a internal battery here, 2100 milliamp hours. Meaning, battery life is going to be either not great or decent. And that depends on how you're running it, the wattage, which coil head you're using. If you're using this thing mouth to lung, you'll get a good amount of time out of it. If you're railing on it all day, it's gonna go pretty quick. But internally charged by USB right here on the front. So you could just plug it in. It does have pass through, which is fantastic. The battery life is definitely one of the my my bigger concerns with this thing, but we'll get we'll get there. This mod does everything you would expect it to do and then some. So as far as vaping function uh, as far as vaping functionality, we're looking at temperature control, resistance, it'll do uh, wattage up to 80. Yes wattage up to 80 it actually fires down to a 0.05 which is actually impressive definitely don't recommend running it up at 80 because you're gonna fly through battery life I'm running the 0.2 ohm coil head at 50 watts and it I, I get maybe a third of a day before I've got to charge this thing up if that it also does voltage mode bypass TCR so it does everything but then it also does Bluetooth wireless speaker which is awesome. Wismac advertises this as shock and waterproof. One little caveat there though, that's only if you have the rubberized kind of gasket outer casing majigger guy here. Only if that's on and connected securely, and you can tell when it is and when it isn't. Uh, but then you also need to make sure for the waterproof and shockproof function that the charging port uh, plug is secure in there. The mod itself works really well. My biggest issue is the lack of battery life because I've actually used this like a lot and I didn't think I was going to. I really thought I was going to struggle doing this review, but it's awesome to have a speaker on a vape. I take this to the pool with my kids when we go out to the playground. I have the speaker playing. And it's great in that aspect, but then so like if it's really loud and you're going to hit it, you know, it's like right next to your face really loud. These are all little minor things, and if you're using it as a, as a speaker, you know, it comes with the territory. But overall, the functionality is fantastic. Now, are you going to get the best sound you've ever heard? No. It's not, you know, a partnership with Bose. It's impressive though. For, for what it is, it's, it's impressively loud. Considering what it is, it's fantastic. Near the pool, going camping, anybody who does like outdoor kind of stuff, this is great. But again, the battery life is like the major issue 
preventing this thing from being a tremendously useful mod. I am notorious, if, uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I drop stuff all the time. This, no exception, and it works perfectly. It feels uh, very rugged. Overall, it, it definitely feels rugged. It's not comfortable to hold. It's very boxy and the sharp, you feel it in your hand. Like the sharp edges just aren't, it's not very comfortable to hold. Uh, the rubber is nice though. Like it's not slipping out of my hand or anything like that. You have a fire button here on the front, your menu, your screen here, then uh, two buttons for adjustment up and down. And then right underneath that we have USB for charging. And then on the reverse side of the mod, we have all our Bluetooth like buttons, right? So there's the power, you can adjust your track, your volume, and pause and play. Very, very simple. It comes with this little tiny uh, carabiner, which without like an actual key ring, it's, it's kind of awkward the way it has to go on because of how small the small end of the carabiner is. So I don't really, I'm gonna take this off now because I don't like it on there. Um, I like it in theory, and if you pair it up with a key ring, fantastic. You can clip it onto anything. It's a decent, I mean, you're not climbing rocks with it, but it'll hold on. You can see the speaker uh, is in there, and then on the other, there's also a little hole for, I guess, maybe bass or speaker, I'm not really sure. Overall, aesthetically, it looks rugged, it looks cool, I like it. Nothing on the bottom. At the top, we have a 510 connection. The threads on this are really nice. Just to show you guys, here is this the Wismec Active with a uh, Falcon tank, if I can get it on, there we go. Here's with the Falcon tank as far as size. Everything you put on here kind of just works. It's not gonna fit flush because on the top, the 510 protrudes past the rubber piece. So nothing's going to fit like flush and perfect. And you're only gonna be able to get about 27, 28 before you start getting overhang off the sides. Now, if you pull the rubber gasket off, you're left with the bare mod itself. And that's that's the mod. The performance is solid, and I really like the functionality of the speaker. The tank is pretty great. I mean, it's a sub ohm tank. I like that there's multiple coil options, so you can run this direct lung or mount to lung. Don't like how tall the 510 tip is on this tank. But other than that, it performs really, really well, and I do have to say, I'm remarkably surprised by the great level of flavor that I'm getting out of the 0.2 ohm coil head, the direct long coil head. It's fantastic. And the mount to long coil is impressive as well. Now it's not as tight as I would like it to be, but it does let you, with the airflow control ring at the bottom, and you can close it down one hole at a time. You see that last little third hole is a tiny little guy that's gonna give you a nice tight kind of mouth to lung hit. And it does perform pretty well with that 1.3 ohm coil head in there. Not as tight as I would like it to be, but it'll suffice. This definitely works better as a like more kind of a little bit on the restricted end of a direct lung hit. 50 watts, this is the 0.2 ohm coil head. Yeah, that's airflow wide open. A little restricted for how I, I would like a little bit more airflow, but the flavor is great and it gets me there. So again, all things considered, I love the idea of it and I do I do like the performance. It's solid. Now the tank, uh, it'll actually hold 4.5 mils of juice. Big capacity for a little tank, I like that. But it is also TPD compliant with a two mil juice capacity glass that you can throw on here. It's fantastic, it really is. A lot I like about this thing. Overall, the build's fantastic. I'm seeing this online for around $70 and I'll put the link in the description if you wanna go check it out. No, it's not a daily carry, but I love it going to the pool, the playground, to the park, any, any time I go out. Anything active, you better believe I'm bringing it, but I'm also bringing my external battery charger thing. 